Hey guys, it's Christina. Welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted in maybe two months. I'm so sorry about that. I have been out of town and back and then had to leave out of town again. So I just, I, I haven't had time. It's been a crazy last few months. Um, I have videos on my computer that I haven't even been able to edit and post. So I know I'm sorry about that. Um, I actually just came from a wedding right now. It is like almost one o'clock right now. Um, I just got home from my friend's wedding here in Brooklyn and I figured, well, I've got makeup on so there's no need to, uh, to go ahead and do that all over again. If I already have it on, might as well tape something, right? This is the March play box that I'm going to unbox right now. I actually took my February play box with me when I went down to Florida and I said I was gonna film. I did not film anything while I was down there. And I'm really excited about this month because a lot of the products are about uh, illuminating and um, highlighting. So that's just, I love that kind of stuff because it just gives um, like a dimension to your face and it makes you glow. This month's box is called The Gleam Team and it comes with the play card that you can take into your Sephora like always and get an extra 50 points on your next purchase and it comes with information about products that you are getting in this month's box. First product is from Benefit. It's the What's Up Illuminator. It comes like this so you get that much product. Um, and you use it on the high points of your face, so above your cheekbones, on your brow bones, the bridge of your nose, same thing as you would any other highlighter. I've actually been eyeing this for a while and I wasn't sure if I liked it. I usually like to use powder highlighters, so I wasn't sure, but let's see. Oh, I like that. Okay. Ah! Dropped it. That is a very pretty pinky champagne -y color. I like that. I like that. I mean, I have powder on my face now, so I don't really think it would do anything. And I'm about to wash off my makeup anyway. But let's see. Oh, I think it's still doing something. Yeah, it still does something. I mean, I have some highlight already. Mm. Okay, okay, I see you. I see you, what's up? I like that. I am definitely gonna test this out again. I want to do a uh, a full face with these products because I I wanna do like a maybe like a strobing kind of look or something to use all these products in here because it's all about illumination and um, glow. So maybe I'll, who am I kidding? I don't even know what my next video is gonna be. I'm always saying I have all these ideas and then time flies and I haven't been able to post. I definitely will use this and see how I like it and maybe still purchase the full size because I've seen other YouTubers and um, Instagram uh, beauty, influencers use it so I don't know it's it looks like a great product I love this color it look look at the shine yeah from glam glow it's the glow starter mega illuminating moisturizer hydrant mega illuminant apply evenly to face wear alone or layer with your favorite foundation can also be used as a or on the neck and decollete so basically this is a almost like a liquid highlight that you can mix with your foundation or wear it either underneath or just dab it on the high parts of your face as well. Let's see. Oh shit. Ooh. Yes. Can you see this? Oh, the camera's not capturing it. Compared to this, like this you can see on camera. This, oh you can kind of see it there. Oh my god, that smells so good. 
it smells like an orange creamsicle. Oh my god, that smells so good. The next product is also about illumination. It's the Reveal Concentrated Luminizing Drops from Al Alginist. This same thing, I think you can use it under your foundation. Let's see what one drop does. Oh yeah. Ooh. One right here was one drop. The highlight will be gleaming to the heavens. Just shining, just shining. Just shine bright like a diamond. And this is a pretty good size. This is seven milliliters, but for a drop that, that was one drop that I put on my hand and that is pretty, uh, pretty opaque, not opaque. It's um pretty rich. So this, size should last me for a while actually it reminds me of the cover effect drops or what's the other company that has some drops like that but that's what it kind of reminds me of so this is a kind of like a silvery tone silvery cool tone that's what it looks like right now in this lighting so um i gotta see how it works with my skin because right now i'm kind of um, a little more fair now in winter, so this might work perfectly right now. This is the Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. It says instant lasting volume and texture. So it's a styling and finishing spray. I'm gonna go to bed, so I don't need to put any in my hair, but I'm just gonna see what it smells like. Oh, that smells so good. Oh, that smells so freaking good. It smells almost like apples and pears. Oh, that smells so good. It doesn't smell like a powdery hairspray that you, you know, that you're usually uh, used to smelling in the salons. I don't want to spray it on my hair just because. So I think you can use this maybe even almost as a dry shampoo. Um, use it as a texturizing spray before you style and then as a finishing spray when you are done styling to set your hairstyle. So this is great, and this is three ounces. That's a pretty generous size for um, a sample. Next is this eyeshadow from Makeup Forever. It's the artist shadow in I-544. And I feel like I've gotten this shadow before, the exact same shade before. It's this kind of purpley pink color. It's kind of a cool tone and almost like a mauve color. Okay, on the skin it looks a little more pink than purple, but almost like a iridescent muddy pink with purple undertones. This might be perfect for a day where you are just doing a quick makeup look or um, you're running late and you just don't have time to go and use two or three shadows because it's kind of iridescent. Um, it can look like you've got a couple of shades going on so you just maybe use a little bit in your crease and then blend the rest of it into the rest of your eyelid and I think that would work for just like an everyday look. And last but not least is the the sixth item, which is the cologne sample that they always send. It's the Clementine California Cologne um, from Atelier Cologne. Atelier, I think they say it. Yeah, and it came with this postcard. I guess for you to mail it to somebody if you're on vacation. Okay, it smells a little fruity, but also a little woody, kind of like foresty, kind of scented. Like almost if it was a man's scent that had citrus undertones in it. I don't know if I would gravitate towards a scent like this, but I mean, it's not bad. Let's see what it says. It's a fresh fragrance uh, with clementine, mandarin, juniper berries. Celebrate the, tra the traditional concept of a clone, which means that they're made with genuine citrus scents, classic ingredients, and high concentrations of essential oils, and can be worn by both 
women and men okay so yeah yeah it smells kind of unisex so i mean it's not bad it's not it's not a bad scent to to have um and that is it that is all that was in the play box this month i have to say i have been liking the play boxes a lot more each month uh the first couple that i got i you know i liked maybe a couple of the products or once i started using them a little bit more um i noticed that just a few of the products were like you know good quality or not good quality but just uh good for me um but i have to say that i think sephora is definitely stepping up their game and getting better products maybe they just end up putting products that are the best sellers on their website or other stores who knows but i have been liking the boxes more and more each month um i really like the last two boxes that i didn't even post um i liked one of the stick um it was a tart stick face exfoliator there was a couple of lip glosses actually in last month's boxes that i liked that I can't remember right now, of course, but yeah, I've really been liking their products in the last few months. So Sephora, thank you for getting some better products for us. And yeah, that is it for my video and I hope you guys liked it. Sorry for not posting in so long, but like I said, it's just, it's been too crazy and I haven't had time. I hope you guys like this video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.